And we are back. Sorry, it took me a little bit, chat. I went to get a can of wine. Ooh, <laughs> fancy. Well, oh, I'm fancy. a canned wine person Approved. now. <laughs> They've finally Approved. driven me to drink. Just kidding. It's just how happy I am. I feel very celebratory it's here. today. I, I love y'all. This is so much fun to like. Ex editing that clip today, Gabe, I was like, I'm so excited to play today. I love that clip <laughs> so much. I stand by it. Yes. <laughs> and thank you again to Josiah for uh, making that wonderful theme for us. You can follow I'm them dancing. on Twitter at Dungeon Papa. Um, it is a bop. It is a bop. Mm -hmm. um, and they put up with a lot of my... Uh, more of this, less this. I don't know anything about music, but it's got to have a twing, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this man gay, everybody put a clip on Twitter, and it's hilarious. What? It's, yeah, it's hilarious. It's the, it's the animal comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to check it. Yo, I, I made three clips. Like, I'm on it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was good. Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm excited to drink wine and, and get to the rest of this game. Um, yeah, so the cart uh, creaks kind of shakily down this uh, rough dirt road. The, the, the mud is a little soft in places, and you can tell that there's just a lot of moisture in the ground here around you there are trees but they're almost like very large overgrown briar bushes they seem kind of like pointy and spindly mm -hmm. they don't have any leaves on them and some of them even have thorns the water here kind of just comes in from the ocean and sits and soaks into the ground there's a lot of peat around you and the ground is treacherous in places you're happy that there's a road, and when the road ends, you have some misgivings. Because travelers like you know that taking a cart through such marshland oftentimes means sinking into it. But you have a driver who is very knowledgeable about this part of the world, Wicker Fen. Some people say the river comes here to die. Other people say the river comes here to become something bigger than itself, to become the ocean. Which of these two things is true is up to you. Around you, you hear, you now know, actually, Scorpio, what that strange sound was when you were uh, kind of making camp with Lulu. You see these large kind of dark gray birds, um, very huge wingspans, wingspans of a, like almost like a vulture's size wingspans, kind of picking in the mud. Um, finding places where the, the soil is still a little firm and like picking out grubs and things like that, even picking at moss and, and peat. Um, the smell here to some people would be unpleasant. To other it was, others, it would almost smell herbal. The, you can also smell the ocean uh, because it's not far away. And then almost as though emerging out of the muck, you see the village of Wicker Fen. These mm. small, low houses, almost like yurts, um, but made of stone, stone stacked very carefully, very neatly together with no ballast between them, almost with pure geometry. These stones are set against each other in these round sort of structures with beautiful tent tops of kind of some of the same materials you see in Mariah's skirt, fabrics from all over the world. Um, drape these in like a sort of pyramid-like structure. Um, there's some type of sticks underneath it holding it up. And you see each and every one, there's like a small thin wisp of smoke coming out of the back. Mm -hmm. You see people going about their business here. You see women mostly mounted on very strange beasts. Um, the easiest way to describe them would be like large chameleons, things with very like very large widespread hands, but they have fur that allow them to kind of stalk on the treacherous muck without sinking in, kind of mm. distributing their weight. Um, a point of clarification, mm -hmm. uh, Senior Albert is free to do what they like. Did he come along? No. Okay. Did not. Senior Good Albert... 
last time you saw remained in the vicinity of the mage tower. Copy yeah. that. Uh, I will say, as we had passed them, uh, Scorpio will point out to Mariah, those gray birds, are, is this a natural occurrence? Something feels a little off. Do I know? Um, give me a nature check with advantage since you're from the area. Dookie. Okay. That is a 21. Yes. Yeah. Fondly referred to as wicker whackers because they <laughs> like to pull uh, snails That's out of the mud. They call me at the bar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they like to pull snails out of the mud and whack them against rocks to crack the shells. Mm -hmm. They are a native bird to the region. Um, they're very similar to kind of like a crane. You, at some point, they were probably called the wicker crane, but now they're called wicker whackers by locals in a loving fashion. Their feathers are actually used in a lot of spell components. It's one of the th one of the things that wicker fen trades in. You might even have some of them uh, in in the back of your cart. You also know with a twenty one that it's a pretty well known hustle to uh, take their feathers and dye them different colors and pass them off as something that they're not because uh, these birds plumes kind of grow in such a pattern that you can that they have like feathers of different shapes if that makes sense um, the back tail of them is more rooster like whereas the front is more eagle like and so because they have these tufties kind of on the top of their head and on their behind you can even take one of the dark gray um, feathers from their head and try to pass it off as a peacock feather if you were to dye it the right color. So you know that a lot of counterfeiting happens with these birds. Those are wicker whackers. Oh, excuse me? They're named that way because, well, if men get too close to them, they grab their heads and their razor sharp beaks and slam them against the rocks to, you know, eat their brains. You mean... It's your favorite dish. Oh. Well, sometimes slamming your head against things is an effective weapon. Men don't mm. often come here, do they? Not without permission. They usually don't stay long. Death. Unless they do. For a long, long time. I get it. Death. Yeah. The, the, you don't have to be... Marriage! What's oh. wrong with you? I, I, I cannot imagine anyone <laughs> wanting to marry a man from everything that you've said about this place. Mm. What are those? And Scorpio's going to point at the beasts that we see as we get into town. Yeah, they're almost ferret-like. Like I said, they're furry and their bodies are long, except their hands kind of end in these very large padded... Uh, and they have, like, really thick pads. Like, their their toe beans are insane. The toe bean game is wild. <laughs> uh, what are they, they called? They, they slink on all fours. Um, I wasn't anticipating this question. Um... <laughs> They're called Fen Runners. Very good. <laughs> mm. I was so focused fen on the Wicker Whacker. Yeah, that's also very good. A Fen, fen runner. Runners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. They do look adept at traveling over this terrain. They are quite adept. They can maneuver all, all the corpses. It's quite handy, you know? They also look trainable. To some. Ajax, <laughs> they kind of look like your horse. <laughs> That's an insult to fen runners. Sorry, <laughs> fen runners. Show some respect. You're in their home. Look, I don't know what my horse did to y'all. <laughs> no, no. It's just trying to get by, all right? It's, it, it doesn't even have a name yet, all right? I'm already doing a bad job at this horse thing, so please. You haven't named your horse? Yeah, I've, I've had it for, well. for, had it for, Thank you. I've had it for, like, four days. You know, I, it, it was a gift. I, I, I haven't really thought about it yet. You don't have any inkling of what you could name your horse? I mean, I do, but they all sound silly whenever I say it. Mm, but I bet they sound better than horse. Debatable. Oh, Okay. I'm going to I'm going to think of a great name and it's going to wow everybody. Oh. My horse's Maybe. name is Ostrich. Oh, that's not confusing. Mm -mm. At least it has a name. It's better than it's better than horse. 
Ajax should name his ostrich. elephant. Because you're like, you're, or, you're ostrich that he's elephant. I personally don't think the elephant thing is there. I don't see it. You know, y'all see it, but I don't, I don't see it. So I can't, I can't do that. I can't name huh. it. I can't name an elephant. Valim, how did you come up with Tootsie's okay. name? That was her name. I asked her. Oh. Could you ask if this one has a name? I already? thought about doing that, but I didn't want to put bronze on the spot. <laughs> no, feel free. I already have a voice because I know this party. <laughs> um, I will try to find a way to speak to this horse, uh, and then I will see if I can discern something from it in whatever way it will communicate with me. Mm. Okay. That was very carefully worded. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Am I am I doing that okay. now? I didn't. I, I don't know. Oh, no. This is I, your. This I'm is asking you. you. Yeah. I, I, I mean, if, if you. If I don't you know want... where we're going. Mm. We're in a place that hates men and things. These birds will kill. I don't know how heads. long this will take. So if if <laughs> you know, we can wait. I. We can wait. Is there somewhere private I can talk to this? <laughs> I think we should wait. It's okay. A, Ritual or connection or telepathy or however I can speak to the gods and they will bless me with the ability to do this. I'm really good with guessing like what gestures mean. I look at uh, Mariah. Are you? Yes. What's this one mean? I was gonna say. <laughs> well, since I know how animals work, it means fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> um, let me find a place to that try means? to gesture to this horse. Yeah, you're good at gesturing to animals, I've noticed. <laughs> I am Where trying you to help that? you now. What? I said you're good at gesturing oh, at animals. Yes. It, I, was, I, was, I was taught. Serious. I was taught. Oh, yes. maybe you can teach me one day. Oh. I would be delighted. Fuck it. Y'all are weird. Uh, give, give me a horse. What a... Just give me a horse. horse. This guy's moody. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take the horse. I'm going to... I don't know. Go... I'm just gonna go away from everybody else. I don't want anybody looking at you while talking. Mm -hmm. You know what's want... funny is you're just trying to hide your abilities, but I bet you Ajax really thinks you just gestured a horse's. <laughs> I, yeah. Like 100%. you know that, right? Like on some yeah. level, you know that like you trying to avoid telling he people that I'm you. An animal. Yeah, he thinks that you could just teach him to, to how to like determined. move your head and stuff. Yeah, I I go an indeterminate amount of distance away from the party. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Shit. Um, I'm Valim. As you probably discovered, I am the friend of the person who rides on your back. That's Ajax. Um, I have a question. What are some of what you think your strongest traits are? <laughs> I never run from battle. Oh. Mm, Phyllis. Phyllis. Um, Ironheart. Uh, how do you feel about the name Ironheart? Oh, my name is August. August. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Astounding. Um, now, here's a question. Do you want the others to know that? I think it's better than horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Okay. It, okay. Is, it is better than horse. I wanted, I wanted to make sure that you, you did want them to know your real name. Um... Do you have anything that you want me to tell Ajax, by the way? Can you please tell him to merely move the reins when he wants to change my trajectory instead of putting his hand on my face and turning it? <laughs> yeah, 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 I can do that. Um, he, he means well. He is new to caring for proud creatures especially intelligent ones um he is an astounding fighter i am sure that he will be an incredible rider and assistance to your success and victory uh please be patient with him august please i will endeavor to do so okay sometimes he tries to run and jump on me and he hasn't made it once He's not graceful. 
He's powerful. He's a little brash. He thinks that I'm an animal. There's a lot to discuss. The other horse is named Tootsie. Um, I don't also, like her. Yeah, she's she is an acquired taste. She's a little prissy. She means well. She was raised very spoiled. I am trying to expose her to more of a humble, modest life. She's not doing great, but she's doing fairly well. But she's fast as hell. I suppose that has its own merits. Yes, it does, because when Ajax charges into battle, I'm going to get my ass out. Um, but thank you again. Um, thank you for being patient. I'm sorry. Uh, if shit goes wrong, you can, if, if, I, if you're feeling a type of way, just look at me and blink twice, and I got you. I Believe me, I understand. The nice thing is, you're fortunate enough that they can't always understand you. Um, I don't have that luxury. So. I understand. I, we're going to get through this together. I've had many of an idiot writer that fell in battle. Oh, God. If only it was that easy. All right. Let's go back. Uh, walk back. All right, Ajax. I think your horse's name is August. Wow. Okay. Well done. Oh, also, um, use the reins to turn August and potentially don't try to run and jump on August. Why, why did you have to tell him that part? I'm, I, I, that, I'm just, I'm still working on Okay. Oh, yeah. maybe I could help you with some movement training. That would be amazing. Oh, or he could just get on the horse like a normal person. But what if we're in a situation where I have to do that? <laughs> You grab onto the side no, and then swing yourself up. No, 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 no. You, 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 no, 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 no. We're I'm in a place. Going to, we're in a, I, you know where we're at right now? We're Everybody gonna hates us. Oh. I'm not going to have time. To be fair, I haven't decided yet. She's That's still good. deciding. It's <laughs> good, but it's, it's still, you know, I imagine. Most people don't hate me. That doesn't. <laughs> doesn't no, we're, we're men. It doesn't matter. Oh. oh. Yeah. I snap my fingers and Don't you dare. Uh, give myself a more feminine dragonborn shape. I wish I could do that. Lucky guy. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, do you Everyone hates me. <laughs> you can try and jump on August if you like. It's a bad idea. Okay, you know what? If, if, that's, if that's how he feels, then I will stop. August. Mariah, are we looking for anybody in particular in town? Hmm. Mariah pauses for a second. There's quite a few women in the village that might be able to help you with your problem. But I think that maybe we should start with someone I know a little bit better. I lead them to my parents' house. Oh. Uh, what does your house look like? So it is similarly shaped, uh, this yurt atop stones, um, like most of the other ones, except the um, tent part is embroidered gold brocade. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not from, not on the same fabric. It's like different types of embroidered bro um, brocade. Some are silk, some are velvet, like just overlaid on the top. Um, there's even a little like flag at the top um, that has uh, sort of this logo of an eye in gold upon it. Um, and at the front, there is a paddock for my horse that is not ostrich. Um, <laughs> and uh, probably like smoke coming out from the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you make your way to your home. There's a space there uh, to park your carton and a mm -hmm. space for the horses to be at it's a little cramped because you have some extra horses right now you're so good at parallel parking this huge cart you get experience you know mm -hmm. and what are your parents like my parents lyra and celestina are 
an interesting pair of women. Um, me? Lyra is um, shorter. Um, she's redheaded with very bushy curly hair, tan skin. Um, and then Celestina is tall, lean, and dark. Um, has like brass colored hair in like tiny, tiny, tiny braids. And uh, Golden Eye is very similar to um, Mariah. Yeah. And they are very much in love and very much lovely, lovely hags, so to speak. Uh-huh. It's Lyra that hears the clopping of hooves and comes outside. As soon as she sees you, she first of all, she looks a bit surprised at how many people are kind of in the front yard. And uh, <clears throat> she says, uh, Mariah, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you're back so suddenly. <laughs> well, you know, came across some things in the fen I thought would be interesting here. Verily, some men indeed. Hmm. Yeah, I hope the cookpot is ready. I think we can fit them all in. Oh. Oh, I'm sure we could probably make space for ya. I'm gonna laugh mm. like this is a joke. <laughs> uh, like like a hot tub. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you two are in danger. And I say that in draconic. That one's shape shifting. Oh, an interesting trick. But we've got tricks of our own, haven't we, Mariah? We do. A lot of them. Well, come inside, I suppose. I'll catch your death out here. And mm. she pushes aside this beautifully embroidered tapestry to lead you to the interior of their home. Uh, Scorpio grabs Lulu's hand as they walk in and just introduces himself to Lyla- Lyra. Uh, I'm Scorpio and this is Lulu. Lyra. Oh, isn't she just a precious little thing? And she like touches Lulu's nose. I walk up. Oh, I'm Ajax. Um, and I motion to v- Valim. Uh, this is my shape-shifting wife, uh, Valley. I wasn't under the impression that you were, you were married. <coughs> oh, wife! Interesting. <laughs> we don't tell you everything. You were a stranger mm. in the woods, of course. Mm. It has Why did you kiss wild. for me? Show us the bond between you. <sighs> You, we do not perform for your entertainment, and our love is not something you can quantify. Do not be disrespectful. I thought you better than that, in front of your parents, too. You certainly know that I'm not better than that. I don't. That's, just, you can I've known you two now. hours. I know nothing about you. I love it when she gets feisty. <laughs> oh, Mariah. Don't go pestering the young couple just because you're single. <laughs> Mother, them in. <laughs> I'm fine being single. You're the one who's always pushing it on me. By, by Scorpio pasta. Yeah. Do you want grandchildren? Over. But wait, wait. <laughs> oh look at her. She's so cute. I just want you to give me one. And <laughs> she's like pointing the Lulu. <laughs> oh, give me this one. And she looks at oh. Scorpio. Uh, you okay? And Lulu goes okay. <laughs> you can't just give away a child. She's not mine. <laughs> wow. Did you just disown your child? It's my apprentice. She's free to do as she wishes. She's also his master, so... Yeah, it gets, it's complicated. How could you give away such a sweet little girl? You've known her two hours. <laughs> Lulu? <laughs> you, did you, like kind of, you, you did kind of give me away pretty quickly, though. Oh, sorry. Uh, you cannot have her. I, at I least pretend. I was gonna say, oh. at least be like, no, not her. Wow. No. Oh, anything but that. Mariah walks up to Scorpio and like shakes her finger in his face. No, oh, so you don't do that. You don't. Oh. Not to a child. Yes. No? Uh, I'm sorry. You understand me? Yes. Uh, Good. Lulu. Then you I won't have to boil you alive so I can get the skin off you to put on a book. Uh, oh, come, Mariah. You know you don't read. I do read quite well, mother. You know I love to read. What's wrong with you? You hear Celestina in the back like, come now, stop roasting the poor child. I'd make a good journal or something. 
He, he sort of ponders this as he walks in. <laughs> what does the inside of your home look like? So at the center, there is a large um, sort of like um, wire iron wrought hearth that sits um, with this sort of depression in the ground where there's a bunch of uh, different colored pillows and different fabrics. None of them match each other. Um, there is a um, sort of alchemist laboratory towards the back um, with all these swirling pipes and twisting um, sort of colanders and crucibles, um, little puffs of smoke coming off of them. Um, and there is, you know, a bed and it's circular um, and it's clearly large enough to fit like four people. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. You see your other parent, Celestina, um, kind of absentmindedly poking at the fire with a fire poker. Uh, she wipes her hands on an apron and she's clearly been at work concocting something, but you're not sure what it, it varies from day to day. It could be soup, could be a healing potion, could be poison. Who really knows? She's mm. always up to something. She finishes wiping her hands, kind of pulls her hair back into like a, a, a bun to continue her work and, um, looks over at all of you. So what you cooking today? Poison? Oh, you betcha. Hmm. Would y'all like a serving? Why are we here? Oh, uh, well, um, hello. My name is Scorpio. And we met Mariah out in uh, the swamps in near the Delta. I have an entity that lives in my head, and she thinks that you may be able to help me. Mm. Or at least set them on the right path. An entity, eh? Mm, I call it whimsy. Whimsy. I sort of made a deal with it, and it allows me to do things and as he says things the uh, sugar uh, seahorse sort of pops mm -hmm. up behind him mm. that was rolling rolling some arcana are you trying to dissolve a warlock pact ah uh, that might be what's happening well, no, I'm that's just afraid of tricky it taking control and, and using me when I sort of have a memory thing. So if that were to happen, I wouldn't remember. So it sounds like the problem is twofold. Your memories and the entity living in your head, right? It seems like the entity may be taking advantage of that. Hmm. What do you but think? I've traveled a long time with my friends Valim, Ajax, and Lulu here. I've managed to get by so far. I just, I think I need some tools to help me keep it under control. Well, I agree with Mariah's assessment. You'd need to decide which of the problems is of more concern to you. Would you... Rather have your memories, or would you rather get this entity to behave? For the two are not related, it oh. would seem. I would like to have this entity behave. I'm not sure if I can handle all of my memories. <laughs> that would be difficult. Uh, dissolving a warlock pact is something that very few people that I know of have done. None successfully. That being said, it is possible to uh, have someone buy out your contract. Hmm. If 
you know anyone, I would take suggestions. <laughs> all, all of the women laugh at this. <laughs> ah, Scorpio like laughs with them. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not going to find anyone stupid enough to do that in the fan. Uh, At least not anyone who wouldn't disavow immediately. Well, thank you anyway. I'm sorry for bothering you. And Scorpio hold, sort of defeated. Hold. hold. She said, difficult. Not impossible. Just depends on how much effort you're willing to put in and how much you're willing to pay. Well... If it's effort, I I train, and I will do my best. And if it's money, I have thirteen gold. AJ, I don't want to interrupt. I was just gonna. I was gonna ask, how does like the the buyout? Is it like literally buying it out, or does it like does you have to exchange like an arm, or like is it money? Oh, I'm I need curious. my arms. I'm just curious. Well, well it depends. Uh... Sometimes it's merely a uh, getting someone of equal or more use to take on your pact for you, take on your debt. Mm. Or sometimes big banks take little banks. If you can find a deity or some other entity willing to take on a grudge with whatever you've sworn your allegiance to, then... <laughs> you can become bound to it instead, but really, you'd just be exchanging one leash for another. Becoming a warlock is a shortcut. Mm. Our magic is much harder earned. Earned through if study and understanding knew, of forces. If only I knew some sort of deity or someone powerful enough. Mm. You're a Lulu snort. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, mm. that'd be really useful. Wow. <clears throat> if only I didn't have this memory thing. The memory thing. I know it sucks. Hey, th cool tattoos, both of you. What? What were th those tattoos that you have? I can see them. We got them from a stranger along the road. Oh, very talented stranger. Yep. Oh. Scorpio, I give would. me an arcana check. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> well, that's a 10. <laughs> yeah, those tattoos move and stuff. That's really Whoa. trippy. Must be some yeah. magical ink. That's what mm. your mind goes to. Mm. Yeah. We can like, take it to him. He's like really they. Can get one of those. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I don't know about this. Anything you want to, honestly. Oh, yeah, I could get one just like yours. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I've known them for two hours, but I do tend to go off into her own little world quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a bunch of so. troublemakers you've brought to our doorstep, Mariah. <laughs> but troublemakers are our favorite kind, aren't mm -hmm. they? Aye, all the better to mash into porridge and stew. She says this mm. like kind of <laughs> just deadpan as she walks across the house. Mm. Begins folding laundry out of like a out of a basket. I don't think I would be tasty. Well, we got what we needed. We should go, honey and Scorpio. Mm. <laughs> honey and Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we should probably get going, sweetheart. Yeah. Uh you know, we have to get oh cousin Scorpio with his memory issues. Oh wait, no. Oh we I don't we owe favors, right? Oh you that's you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I feel like if we would have just left, it would have been worse. So Oh believe me. Work. It would. The oh. lights start to flicker a little bit. It's a spell. Stop freaking out about that. It's a good spell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um you see lulu kind so. of march forth to like uh the taller of the two celestina and you see her um <clears throat> put her hands on her hips and she says uh 
Hello, yes, I'd like to audition to be a spooky bug witch. Um, here are some of the things I can do. I can move things with ether. And she like uh, conjures a mage hound. That's pretty cool. I can Eldritch Blast. Not going to do it in here because you have some nice furniture. Uh, yeah, I can, but I could do it. And then um, this. And she like does like a little gesture and her Langa kind of like shimmers like very vaguely. She casts mage armor on herself. Mm -hmm. That's just some of the things I can bring to our organization. Um, also, this. And she missed these steps behind Mariah. It's like, I mean, now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me again. Boom. There goes all the spell slots. <laughs> yep. All two of them. All two of them. You already want to keep her, don't you? I I really do. <laughs> well, you can't. Celestina She's says. coming with me. And Scorpio will she go reminds me oh, it's, Now it's gone to a creepy place. And now oh. I'm not sure we should let the child go with you. No, I think we should keep her. Hmm. No, I, she has a family, and to be honest, we've known you lot way less time than we've spent with her, and I don't entirely feel like you've given us reason to trust someone we've taken care of for so long. Also, to be completely honest, um, I don't think she, if, if Lulu wanted to leave, she would kind of just up and Lulu. fizzle out. Because, yeah. yeah, because she kind of just comes and finds us. I mean, Lulu, do you, Lulu, mm. do you want to stay here? I really think about core it. Core stuff, though. Mm. Really think about this. Oh, Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Mm. Do you remember? The thing that you did that we said you shouldn't do normally unless you ask permission. Don't say it out loud. Yeah. You should do that thing, and then if you feel safe, we'll trust you. All okay. right. Okay. Got it. Should I be concerned? Eh, probably. I don't remember what he's talking about. You uh, realize I could just call in a favor and make you not do anything about her staying here. Ah, uh, well, whatever. That would be forcing a child to stay in a place which would make you the monster, not us. No, I don't have a favor from her. I could just yeah. force you to not affect her decision. I didn't say I was going to. To force me to not ask her to make a decision for herself? No. To try and take her away. We, you're, you're, you are, you're a problem. <laughs> No problem. I hear that about myself a lot. I think that's why I think they could teach me a thing or two. Okay. As she says this, you hear Celestina kind of like gently say, um, well, the person that could teach her, she might also be able to help you with your problem. Mm. You don't mean you can't be serious. <sighs> What's happening? Hold on, the adults are talking. Really? I mean, she's been retired for a while, but... She doesn't even come out of that place of hers. <clears throat> no, she doesn't. And they think we go into our own worlds. Uh, yeah, no, they're actually very rude. I'll do anything. Honey, you already offered me a favor. Chill. Sorry, I tend to do that. Mm. He's ambitious. If you tell someone you'll do anything, some of them might take advantage of that. I know. Some of free advice. I hope I remember. I suppose. Do you even think that she'll meet with them? Oh, I can't be sure, but maybe if. Maybe if you talk to somebody in the village who's seen her, you can... I've heard if the fancy takes her, she'll take on a pupil. Mm. If she decides to take on this one, it'll grant you an audience to get your problem fixed. We can't put Lulu in danger. She wouldn't be in danger. Be rather the opposite. Be whether or not 
Sylvina would take her on as a pupil, waste her time. She hasn't taken on a student in a very long time. She didn't even take me on. Did, did something happen? I'm still sore about that. <laughs> so, you know, I tried real hard. Really, really, really hard. Well, and the school doesn't even exist anymore. You see, some time ago, Sylvina gave up the trade of teaching magic, especially that of a sorceress nature, and hmm. destroyed her school. Wow, that's fair. She she just, like, physically destroyed it? like. One day it was there, and the next day it wasn't. Knowledge is a burden. Wow. How long ago was this? Oh, you were just still a small child, Mariah. Mm -hmm. It was some time ago. It was a tower that some of you might be familiar with. Oh, yes. The one that Lulu and I were at? Uh, similar to that one. There was one here, but like I said overnight, it disappeared. It was there, and then it wasn't. And everything inside it disappeared as well, as well as Sylvina. Although, there are some people in the town that say they see her from time to time, wandering the fen. Someone takes in her deliveries. There are auto requests that I get from her in particular. Hmm. At least I assume it's her. They're all meant to go to that Do you, place. Do you have a messenger in the Wicker Fen? A messenger? You're looking like, at her. And she gestures oh. to Mariah. Uh -huh. Oh, like someone who sends messages out of the wicker fen. You're looking at You're her. Looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you need another definition or are you certain? Like, can you just take my abilities at their word? I, I don't know what your abilities are. You've just chastised us for two hours. I haven't chastised you. We have different. You'd know if I had. I, well, apparently not. What are your abilities? I, she would know. She's an expert at being chastised. <laughs> oh. Here are your I, under things. Uh, I folded me, them for you. <laughs> she oh, hands them over may, to you. Maybe we'll stop somewhere. Maybe we'll stop in another town whenever we head out for a, a person with carrier pigeons or something. Ooh, no, I can find an animal. You're calling me an animal now? No, I said I would find one. You're here. Um, yeah, the squirrels and birds. Okay. Oh, I, why don't you take your chances with the uh, wicker whacker? Um, <laughs> or they oh. deliver something for you. Are those animals? Are they monstrosities? Wicked whackers. Oh, come now. Sweet <laughs> creatures, if you get to know them. I'm gonna go find bird outside <laughs> it's well you're certainly gonna find one this is i'll tell weird. you that right now believe believe is just gonna go looking for a, a bird so he can use like animal friendship basically okay uh, yeah you tell that you go outside in your blue dragonborn form yep it doesn't take you these birds are huge y'all like i said 12 foot wingspan when they're like fully like stretched out yeah Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna find I'm gonna find like a, a bird, mm -hmm. and I'm actually. It's gonna got a little. You find one. It's got a doondle on its head, and it's just like that's <laughs> my very Punjabi word for its feather. <laughs> it's tufty. Uh, I'm gonna cast Animal Messenger. Um. So I I give it a small morsel of food, and mm -hmm. I say, your daughter is fine. She is going through a sort of training. She is safe in Wicker Fen. Uh, and I'm going to have the bird deliver the message to Lulu's father so he knows where she is because she's not with us anymore. Um, do you know where Lulu's father lives or are you just going to direct it to the shop? I'm going to direct it to the shop. Okay. And then hope it gets to him. Yeah. Um, perfect. Uh, yeah. Do you need to roll for this or does it just happen? Nope. Uh, it, just, it just happens. It travels. Uh, it can cover about... Is it, do you think it's over 50 miles away? No. Okay, so it can, it can cover you're not miles. You're not miles. 50 miles from the stack. Or not the stacks, Leavenworth. Yeah, you're not 50 miles from Leavenworth. Yeah, so it, it can cover about 50 miles uh, over a 24-hour period. 
Uh, so as long as it can get there, it basically just replicates the sound of my voice mm-hmm. uh, whenever it gets there. And it's going to go to that candy shop and get hopped up on sugar. No, no, you don't say things yeah. that could happen, Xander. <laughs> this <laughs> wicker whacker comes over to you and it's like hopping on one foot and then the other. Scary. Kind of has like a crazy look in its eye and it's shaking its head tufty. God, you're going to scare somebody. Okay. Just repeat Rark. those things. Rark. I'm, I'm going to add your daughter, Lulu. So mm. It's very specific. Okay. Yes. Now, please. Go! <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yep. It's going to go inside. Oh, this place is weird. It like starts to follow you. Okay. Oh God, this isn't the thing that I sent, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is just a. How big is this thing? It's like got a twelve foot wingspan and its body like is like the size of a turkey, and it's got oh, like sh- almost like a peacock as head tufty, and then like a giant bushy tail that it drags behind it. I hate this. I hate that you're doing this to me already. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll cast speak with animals. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> why why did like he get a message and like I didn't get a message? Oh, okay. Well, I needed I you you uh, Valley girl. <laughs> I didn't want to send you to go do something. Uh we're like bonded you... for life. That's like my mate. Like and you just were like, oh, oh leave here and then like you didn't send me like what am i supposed to do just be like single well no because (laughs) now now they have a a a home to come back to since you're here but all the other girls have like mates and now i'm like alone that that, that's not what gives them value yeah it (laughs) is Wow, you live in a weird society that is very reversed to the way humanoids live. I have eggs. He needs to, like, do his job, feed those babies, inseminate me, all this stuff. We have a schedule. Mm. Who's going to who's gonna think, fluff my nest? I'm supposed to do it myself. You think this is a healthy relationship? I mean, yeah. I can't fluff my own nest. He has to bring <laughs> me shiny things to put in do my you? nest. Do you love him? Yeah. Well, I need him. Okay, I'm glad I <laughs> sent him away. I hope he goes finds happiness. What? What about sort, my happiness? You sort out whatever. What this about our is. 32 children? <laughs> Look, if you've got 32, you don't need more. Sort out whatever this is. I don't. Well, what know. about the 32 I have? Are they eggs or are they already living? No, they're like cheap, cheap, cheap. They're like. Well, then focus on your 32 kids. Why are you worried about a man? Get your life together. (laughs) Roll animal handling. Oh, my God. 26. (laughs) Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're right. I don't know why I keep having kids. Like, they're a pain in the ass every time. Literally. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah but... I think after these, like, I should just, like, I don't know, stop. There's a lot of wicker whackers around. <laughs> okay. Not not the... What... What do you like doing? <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, go have that existential crisis. Yeah. Wick, wick, I like... Wick, whack. <laughs> whack. Yeah, you're right. Whack. Thank you. Go... Yeah, you... Call! <laughs> I shut the door. Wicker Wacker I... seems free did, of a burden. Did did Valim just start feminism in the Wicker Wacker <laughs> community? <laughs> <laughs> That's the door. I don't like this place. I I I'm not talking to any of the animals here. <laughs> Why not? They're fun. Did, have you spoken <laughs> to them? <laughs> what? Why don't you answer yes or no question? <laughs> Why should I? Why is your daughter like this? <laughs> like what? 
why why was she, why is she indecisive in anything when you ask her something? But she expects so I was indecisive. To, now the adults are talking, but you expect her to sell her soul. I'm older than you, so don't even start. Older than whom? You. Me. Yes, Mariah. Are you sure about that? Does it matter? It, it, well, you mentioned it, so it came. I did, but I'm saying if yeah. I say yes, she'll say no, and if I say no, she'll brag about it. Why is she rude to strangers? I think you two will be great friends. Yeah. I no. I you know what? I would love for you to meet Sunflower. Anyways, why is she rude to us? Aren't Sunflower's weeds in some places? Oh boy. I think she's been very helpful so far, except for the part where they didn't really help me. But we have another lead. Well, in our defense, helping you is... You're asking us to move mountains here. Right. You don't you take on... Here. I'm talking about dissolving a pact. I didn't bring you here. Also, you paid me to lead you here. Remember? Thank you. I'm mm -hmm. um, sorry if you feel like we haven't helped you appropriately, but like I said, what you're asking is steep, especially since we don't know what kind of creature has a grip on you. Well, I think we have the beginnings of a plan. We will seek an apprenticeship somehow with this Sylvina for Lulu. Um, we need to let Lulu's parent know that she's going to be here. Mm, that might be difficult. I mean, we're on to Hoodwinkle, right? Mm. Hoodwinkle I, comes through sometimes. I told Lulu's dad that she was here. I just sent a message of that. Oh. That's why I needed a bird. And then that weird one showed up. Thank you, Valine. That's that why was... there's a row of birds right in front of the uh You do see right there's now? like a row of birds now. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Why would you put that on there? The step puts it you. on there. Yeah. There's like a bunch of birds now kind of squawking around like they're protesting, like going around in lines, like in unison. Speak with animals is off. Like it. Yeah, I know. They're just squawking. What did you do? What did you do? Lit, lit. Doesn't matter. They're very sensitive creatures. Oh. Yes, I. you're right. I made a terrible choice. Um, please criticize me for it. I don't know what the choice you made was. No, but it's terrible, right? Because all my choices are terrible. It's really no. going there now. Yeah, yep, yeah, yes. No. I don't This I don't means he likes you. you. That is, that is, <laughs> Scorpio, you are lying. That is not what that means. The last person who did this, I decided was a mortal enemy of mine, Ironside. Oh, you met him one time. That, right? That's all it took. One time. <laughs> Let's, come on, let's, let's practice our breathing exercises. Come on. From my point of view, all I've done is help you. Huh? To be honest. Sorry? From my point of view, all I've done is help you three. You're tr that's true. That's very true. So why are you casting aspersions at me? I'm making assumptions. I just want people to be nice to me. Like, that's, oh. that's all I want. I just want people to be nice at face Niceness. value. I have found that oftentimes when people are nice to you, it's because they want something from you. That's exactly. Because now if you want shit. respect, that gets earned. I will not go into the history of our people, but you may not find people very kind here, for the world has not been kind to us. Mm. We live in a world that calls us all kinds of things. Hags, bog witches, wicked women of the South. And we found it in our best interest to just let those rumors lie. Because when people fear you, they don't fuck with you. Mm. She turns around and like kind of goes back to making her strange concoction. So, hello. Um, or <laughs> <laughs> Lyra responds to you, Ajax, and says, Yes, we are, baby. Um, uh, so, are y'all like, so is everybody here hags? <laughs> are y'all are y'all hags? I don't, I, I, what I don't do know you what think? 
Do you know what hag is? No, I don't. Mm. Well, Haggis? Mariah kind of briefly explained it to me, but I don't know if she was just like messing with me or not. When do I ever mess with anyone? Really? See, that seems like sarcasm. Uh, I don't know. Do you mess people up? This is, you know, very Listen here, Ajax. Mariah. Um, Mariah is like a a bee's nest. Sometimes you're going to get bees and sometimes you're going to get honey, but very seldom both. And don't expect to walk away without a few welts. Oh, that's okay. I, you know, I just, I'm right here. Right, <laughs> standing right in front of you. Right here, mother. Right here. Right here. I, I feel You're like You're talking about me like I'm not here at all. So, so, sometimes the, the honey tastes better with the sting, you know? I don't know. It it is just I want to make sure that we're in a I can't no, speak with the animals go outside with the birds. Nope. I go outside with the birds. <laughs> this I, analogy I has fallen apart rather quickly. Mm. <laughs> I talk feminism to the birds. I'm going outside. I shut the right. door behind me. Well, we should be on our way to Sylvina anyway. Wait, my question wasn't answered. <laughs> well, As what is your oh, question? I think they're all hags. Is everyone here uh, a hag? It's a complicated answer. I wish it were as simple as yes or no, but it isn't. Yes, uh, a lot of people in this village are women that are capable oh. of doing magic, but, and some people would tell you that that's what constitutes a hag, really, if you look at the history of the word. It's really just a very anti women sentiment applied to. But, uh, in the most strictest sense of the term, are we vile, old, hideous women that mean to do harm unto others? Well, use your own judgment. Even if we were hags, why would you have a quarrel with us when we're in our corner of the world minding our own business? Have you seen us uh, eating anyone or harming anyone? No, I, I learned what a hag was today. So, so far I've oh. had a good experience. I don't really, I have no... I don't have any predisposed opinions. Well, in that case, person. it shouldn't be an issue if we are hags or we aren't, because either way, it seems like you have no quarrel with us. I, I have no reason to. I just just heard, you know, from today about the whole, like, eating men thing. I just want to make sure that is... Is it Harmful a more of like... stereotype. A, you know, as a, a half-orc, you should know people say similar things about orcish they do. folk. But I've they known do. a few, and I've found them right. to be rather agreeable people. Me too, for the most part. Okay. You just hear Lulu mutter, that's wastest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That's all I wanted to know. Really. But as I'm not, I don't, I don't tend to bother people. So they don't bother me first. So. Here, we are interested in the opposite of conflict. That's but if we know how to settle it, if they come here. Don't we? Okay. I just wanted to know a bit more about the surroundings. Thank you. I would just remind you to remember that here you are very much a guest. Do not expect that people will put out some type of red carpet for you. People here are guarded for... We have very good reason to be. Outsiders have not always been kind to our folk. And you'll have to forgive my sisters if they open you with less than welcome arms. Not everyone's as welcoming as Mariah here. I'm a peach. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I get it. Thank you for explaining it. You didn't have to. So where was Sylvina's school located before? At the edge of town, all the way in the back, right by where the bog hits the ocean. Some people say it sunk into the bottom of the sea, but who knows? Should we start there? As for Sylvina herself, Mariah would be her best lead. We don't see her really. Uh, 
we've heard rumors of her still conducting her strange arcane experiments somewhere, but Maria is the one that brings her components and oh. drops them off in strange places, so. So, oh, we just have to wait for a delivery. Well, I already have one, don't I? Yeah, yeah, you uh, were you were supposed to go and trade um, a reagent to a man at the crossroads and bring back a something in return. Now, what you may or may not know, you know that your contact never met you. What Scorpio knows is that Scorpio found that overturned cart in his one shot. Yeah. Was that, there anything that we should have taken from that? What did you loot from there? Oh boy, here we go. Okay. <laughs> this was from the tower. That's not it, right? Because that was two gems, a lilac sash, some coins, fabric boots, and a page with illustrations. Yeah, that wouldn't have been it. This was the fight with the uh, toppled over cart and all the stuff. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was the memory one. You know what? Just give me a luck check. <laughs> okay. The sheer luck. Let's see. Ooh, uh, 16. Yeah. Um, it's not you. It's rather it's Lulu. Oh. That, like, as you say, you start having a delivery. She mentions to you, Mariah. She says, oh, yeah, we met another person that was having a delivery, but then the back of their cart had these strange things in it, and then they ran away with their horse, and then Scorpio found their horse and gave it back to Dab, and I said we should have kept the horse, and there was, like, a whole thing there, and I stole some stuff. I mean, I did things without permission that I can't do with permission. So let me get this straight. Oh, where? Mm. You took out my clients? Oh! oh. Well... Oops. Was this at the crossroads? By the fen? With the cart. It didn't look like your cart, though, so I don't know if it was ally an allied cart. If there was a strange shadow beast thing, I, if you want to say. There was mimics. There was mimics everywhere. Oh, yeah. There they was so mimics. many mimics. All mimics, so really. Many mimics. That doesn't surprise me. A lot of the people that are strange enough to collect these reagents and such dabble in a few interesting things. They're interested in protecting them. Oh, wow. Did you get anything particular from the cart, little one? I don't remember. I mean, if you're so specific, I've got... She reaches into her pockets and pulls out two hands, and in them is everything. She has, like, <laughs> 12 rings of varying... Uh, sort of rarity and metal some of them magical some of them not magical at all um a handful of gems uh once again varying in value and in the other hand she does have something where that you would recognize she has a moat specifically an elemental moat this one is a moat of ice oh, it manifests in her hand almost like a smooth marble that's perpetually cold little one that's the object i was supposed to get from my client oh the refrigerator <laughs> tell you what it keeps my grape juice cold at my back you took that i borrowed it tell you what little one <laughs> you give me that i'll let you pick something from my cart within reason to replace it Okay. 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 I never, ever go back on a deal. She hands you the the moat. All right. Looks like we got something to deliver. So, if you want to meet the master, mm. shotgun, we should go. We're not taking yeah. my cart. Oh. We're walking. Oh. oh. It's not that far. Okay. It's a wicker fan, not the wicker city. Sorry. <laughs> Lazy. I love you. <laughs> Should have known. 
And as you resolve to seek out this master of the arcane art, Selvina, that is where we will call a close to today's session. Thank you so much for joining me for our 2022 premiere Yee! of Shikar. I'm so excited. This was so much fun. Um, thank you, thank you. We started. We went a little over today because we started a little late. Next week we should sure, have sure. it dialed in. Um, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us, everybody. We're going to do some super quick shout outs. Uh, we're going to actually upload the VOD in two parts. So we're going to have a midweek upload on Thursday and the rest of it's going to go up after our rebroadcast on Sunday. So if you wanted to rewatch any part of this or wanted to watch it from the beginning, Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will run a rerun of it. And then um, we'll be live here again uh, on the first, which is super exciting. Um, take it away, Balvin. Hello, I am Balvin, Lord Balvin on all social media platforms. I am a content creator. I create content from essentially everything ranging from sports to video games to music. Uh, my main platform would be Twitter uh, and Twitch, uh, but I post on Instagram and TikTok as well. It's all Lord Balvin. If you like me here, you'll probably like me there. So check me out. Fantastic. Persephone. Hi, I'm Persephone, aka Persephoroth. Um, thank you for having me. Yay, thank you. Have so I'm good. super jazzed to be here. I hope you all like Mariah. I love Mariah. Um, <laughs> she's super fun to play. We definitely already one of my favorite characters I've ever played. Um, so you can find me at Persephoroth. That's P-E-R Sephiroth. If you know Final Fantasy VII, you know how to spell it. And you can find me at that name. Uh, Twitter and Twitch are my main platforms, but you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram same places Fuck yeah gabe hi i'm gabe gabe james games across the internet um you can find me tomorrow on the dungeon run uh i am starting and running a new show for them called fortune and fate uh it'll involve a bunch of like one shot style adventures but continuing in the kind of campaign era so that'll be fun. Um, that is 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, Persephoroth is on that as well as Ron Ogden. Uh, there's oh. a bunch of there is a bunch of people on there, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, yeah, that's the main thing for public thing. There's a bunch of other shit. <laughs> Yay! I felt more the same. Gabe GMA. <laughs> I was like, what can I talk about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Xander. Hello, I'm Xander Genre. You can find me at Xanderific with two R's and one F. My main platform is Twitter, but I'm also here on Twitch every Monday and Tuesday on my personal channel. We're playing through Witcher 3 and through the Legend of Zelda series. Also keep your eyes on my socials for season two of Invitation to Party, which will be on G4. We don't know when it's coming back yet, but it's in the works. Uh, and that'll be on Fridays. But for now, you can catch me every Friday on the Pixel Circus channel for more D and D. Uh, playing Ooh. failed save, I play a water genasi named Cattle, and he talks like this. He's very fun. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, you can catch me there or all over the internet. Uh, yes, thank you. I love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl Bular, and. Uh, yeah, I, I'm everything I'm doing is under NDA. Mm. Yay, <laughs> NDA. Um but that yeah, I was gonna say that's true of basically everyone here. Um <laughs> I am going to be gone next week, but I'm gonna, I've I've got some type of rig for mobile setup, so hopefully I'll Ooh. be able to mm -hmm play some Elden Ring while I'm out of town. And uh, for Shakar, uh, you might get a stream from my mom's house that day. Nice. Um, or Vickens, because I think his internet's a little bit better. So let me know if you need any help with anything. I might be able to provide some stuff. Yay, thank you. Yeah, no I might squat at, at Vickens' house. We'll see. I have to see who I can, who I can bother. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and uh we'll get into it but thank you so much for joining me today it's so nice to be back friends that's yeah. so good oh, yeah. i hope you all have a wonderful night um we don't have an ending screen because i forgot to make one <laughs> Quick, so this stream is pose. gonna yeah i was gonna say goodbye now <laughs> <laughs> goodbye.